Hi. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is doing fabulous today. It is Thursday, I believe. So, um, I haven't done a live video in a really long time. Um, hence my topic. I want to talk about consistency. It is something that has always been a struggle for me is just being consistent with something and not self-sabotaging myself. So that is something that is very big. I, it's, I work on it constantly. I work on it daily and I make sure that I stick with whatever it is that I tell myself I'm gonna do it for. So it doesn't mean it always has to be something big. It can be something small as well. So when I decided I'm gonna stop self-sabotaging myself, um, that's when my life started to change. So I'm not gonna go into a really big, drawn out whole detail. Um, good morning, Brittany. Hi, I'm so excited all you guys are jumping on. I'm gonna make this short and sweet um, because I have to get to work today and I only have to work for three hours today, which is really exciting. It's kind of strange for a Thursday, but I have a funeral to attend. One of my dear, my dearest friends, um, clients for a long time she's passed but she's with the good Lord now so we're very excited so I'm not gonna make this post um, about hey Jennifer about just thriving this is about anything as you most everybody that's jumping on here knows that I'm a thriver I absolutely love it but that's besides the point at this moment because consistency is for everything that you do at any point in time in your life so that could look different for every single person at any point so that could be prayer that could be um, eating better. That could be anything you can imagine. Working out, oh my gosh, I'm terrible at that as far as consistency. However, I did start a run today and I, I downloaded this app called Sport Me. If any of you guys know about that app, please let me know because I got some questions on it, but it does give me a personal trainer, so I sent in a bunch of stuff because um, they asked me how I like the app. That's probably not a good idea on day one when you don't understand it. So I did go run for about 30 minutes today, which was really exciting. Um, if I'm echoing, I'm very sorry because I'm in a house that has absolutely nothing in it. Let me show you guys. Ha ha. So I'm in the process of selling my house. It's like literally empty. The only thing I have <laughs> is stuff that's in these cabinets, which is really kind of fun. Um, so I'm selling my house. That's what's going on here in New Braunfels, Texas. Um, but I'm getting ready to, so every single morning I wake up, I take my Thrive capsules. There's only two. That's all I have to do. Um, and I absolutely love that because I'm not a pill taker. They're tiny. It's fine. Um, I did tell myself I wasn't going to do that <laughs> at the very beginning. And my friend was like, listen, just shut up and take the pills. So I did. And I'm glad that I did. Um, but anyway, so I'm getting ready to make my lifestyle shake, which gives me all my probiotics care. I won't, I won't leave y'all. I'll take you with me because that's kind of rude, right? Okay. So here's a look into my refrigerator. It's bare minimum as well. Apple pie shake is my favorite. I'm going with this because I love it. And I literally take my bullet every morning. It takes me two seconds. You can mix this up in a water bottle, shake it up, and go. But um, I don't know if y'all can. I use a canister whenever I'm at home, and I dump it in my mix. Very easy. This gives me probiotics, prebiotics, enzymes, every single thing, plus 15 grams of protein. Guys, it makes you regular. It helps you out on every single thing that you need. I'm not going to take you with me because, oh, I'll turn you because I always overflow this because I just have the little port thing here. Perfect, fill it up to the second line. I love it. Um, I add peanut butter in mine, which I use PB2. I love PB2. It's really kind of funny because I have everything like set out in my cabinets right now because literally that's the only thing in this house. So, um, I put two scoops in, very easy, just a little spoon, nothing crazy. I do keep my Thrive Shake in the refrigerator. Um, I don't know, I heard the CEO say he did that, so I thought, hmm, I'm gonna do that too, why not? Um, 
And then after that, so I take two capsules, mix up my mix, literally slap on a DFT patch. This gives me all of my vitamins and minerals, put it on a lean muscle, it's incredible. Now, five. Um, it can be anything that you do. Whatever it is that you wanna do, whatever it is that you're doing, just be consistent with it. It is, it works. Consistency works. So, I literally just take this up. It's kind of funny to see everybody like jumping on. So exciting, I haven't done this in a while. But, so I shake it up first because I put the powder down at the bottom. And then I literally do two seconds, pour it in a cup, drink it up, I'm all done. So I'm loaded with probiotics, prebiotics, enzymes, and over 106 vitamins and minerals. Guys, I didn't even know vitamins and minerals were important. I used to just take them for like a day and then I'd throw the whole bottle away at the end of the year whenever it would expire or whatever. So when I started researching about how it works and why it works, at that point it started to really give me an insight on how different things work with your body. So um, Thrive is a one product broken up into three different parts. Because if we were to ingest all of that, it wouldn't be good. Um, it would be kind of harsh on our stomachs. It would be good for you, but you know, it'd be harsh on your stomach. So that's why we put it in a DFT. This is a black label. Most men wear these because, uh, and, and women too, but if you're working out, these are amazing because they have added B12 in them for extra energy. They're also a mood stabilizer too, so that's really exciting. Um, but Thrive just makes you happy in general. But whatever it is that you're doing, it doesn't have to be Thrive. Whatever it is that you're doing, just stay consistent with it because it really does make a difference. And I'm gonna leave you with one other tip because it's something that I used to do a lot. Sorry, I'm kinda all over the place right now. I'm trying to wash the dishes and get to work. Um, having a little bit more time freedom on my hands is really, something that I'm not used to because I used to work, 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 work 24 seven, go home, wake up, work again. Um, but having that time freedom on my hands definitely makes it a whole lot easier. But my morning routine does not change. I wake up in the morning, I take two capsules, slap on my patch, drink my mix. No matter what, nothing gets in the way of that because as soon as I drop and take those pills, my two capsules, I feel them like 20 minutes later at the most. So I can pop capsules, I can go for a run, and I can feel them kick in, which I've never taken a vitamin that does that. And it's not loaded with caffeine, it's not any of that stuff, so you don't have to feel like you're on a caffeine high, you don't get the jitters, um, whatever. But I'm gonna leave you with this because it's something that helped me in my life. Um, on, it, And it's actually something I've just been practicing and getting used to because I used to always say, I'm just so busy, I'm just so busy. I'm just so busy. So whenever I talk to people, like it's really kind of funny because I sit back and I think, okay, I'm gonna wait for them to say that they're busy because everybody says, I'm just so busy. So one of my friends told me, Ashley, when you continue to tell yourself that you're busy, and this is one of my mentors, I absolutely love her, um, Adrienne Keller, I'm gonna give her a little shout out. She's amazing, she's down in Victoria. Um, when, when, you, when you're constantly telling yourself that you're busy, that is your mental mindset. So she told me, she said, Ashley, when you're always saying, oh, I'm too busy for this, I'm too busy for that, you're not allowing anything else to open up and to come into your life, which is really very true because no other doors will open as long as you keep shutting them in your mind, telling yourself you're too busy to bring that on. So. Make a conscious effort to do, to just say, I don't have time for that right now. Whatever it is, um, like when somebody comes to me with drama, I absolutely have no time for that in my life. I shut it out completely and go a different route. I let them know that I do not have time for this. This is something that is just busy work. Um, but I also, in the, in the meantime, don't stay consumed with everything that I have going on as well, because that makes a difference too. So with even my clients, you know, I say, um, I, I'm never too busy for them. If I have a client at that time, then I'll get to them at any point in time. But always make sure that you're taking time for the people that are important. 
Um, and when you make everybody important, you have more time in general. So that's definitely something that I have been working on on a daily. Like I literally have to pray about it because it is something that I have to make sure that I am doing on a daily basis to keep me in check as well. So don't go around life talking about everything's too busy, I don't have time for this, I don't have time for that. Because what you're speaking into your heart and what you're speaking into your mind is exactly what you're giving. So you're telling people, you're telling life, you're telling everything in general that you don't have time for it. And guess what? You do. You just have to make it a priority, whatever it is that is your priority. So get your head right, a little bit of you know mind motivation, that's what I'm all about. I love motivation stuff. Um, it's super exciting to me. So whatever it is that you're doing, stay consistent with it because whatever it is, it works as long as you're consistent. Now, there may be something that's gonna get you there faster. There may be something that is going to help you out a little bit more, but your journey is your journey. So whatever it is and whatever journey that you're on, take it seriously. Stop self-sabotaging yourself because I did that for so long. Like I know, I know what that's like and nobody wants to live there forever. It's not fun. So I hope you guys all have a blessed day. I will not be going back on today because I have a funeral to attend and I'm sure I'll be a mess later. Um, so y'all have a great day. Hope to see you guys this weekend and talk to you later. Bye.